Hello everybody, this is Andrew, and today we are designing a launch, or really a landing vehicle to take out to the jewel system and go explore the various possibilities that exist out there. Um, I'll just show you real quick what this might look like when it lands somewhere. I've kind of tried to take into every possible consideration to account. We've got um, absolutely buttloads of parachutes because um, this thing looks pretty heavy. We're using the big docking port and the idea will be to go take this guy down to do excursions on the various um, planet or moons of Jewel and then hopefully you still have enough uh, fuel left on an interplanetary drive to get this whole shebang home. Um, I'm not totally sure about everything yet, so we will um, design the interplanetary drive in a way so that it could be refueled if necessary. We'll put like an extra couple docking ports on one of the sides or something so that if we need to send something out there to go give it some more fuel, um, that that's a possibility. Because we're looking it's looking like this is going to be really darn heavy. Um, trying to think if I can squeeze in just like any more science anywhere on this thing. I don't really think that I can. It would be nice to have, let's see, we have eight goo canisters. Maybe if we move these somewhere else. I'm not sure where. Maybe if we move these here, we can fit another set of goo things. It's very heavy though. It's a lot of weight to take if we do that. Let's see. Four. Let's just move these up a little bit so that they are proportional-ish. Let's move those back that way a little bit. Alright. That's a few more goo canisters. So we have tons of those things. We got atmosphere things. We got a few science juniors, not too many because they're super heavy. And of course all the little science guys right here so yeah now the next step will be to design some kind of interplanetary vehicle that can launch this thing and take it out to Jewel which I think we'll just use basically the launcher that we have been using um, with whatever small modifications are necessary so I'm gonna work on that a little bit now and um, get back to you guys in a little bit with the results. Alright everybody, I'm back. The monstrosity is complete and it's very m much like what we've been doing in the past. Um, still using the skipper engines because I'm not really seeing a strong need to use mainsails here. Um, the other modifications we've really made are um, well, using the orange takes as opposed to two of the uh, half-sized ones. And let's see what else. We're going to only use one nuclear engine in the middle there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so it's going to take us a long time to get places, but we should be there getting there efficiently. Um, let's see what else. We've got uh, a few docking ports here just in case we end up having to refuel this guy. Um, before we can bring this whole monstrosity home. And we're not using a manned module here, we're just using a large probe core to navigate that uh, interplanetary drive stage and see other changes that I've made. That's pretty much it. So, then, you know, uh, it's always a little uncertain when we try something out for the first time. Uh, how well uh, how well it's gonna go, but um, the other things we've done is added some separatrons here so that when these guys detach they um, are pushed away quickly um, so it won't hit anything um, which is always a nice kind of feature to have um, there's always that small little feeling in your head that you're missing something but um, if we're missing something, we're just going to have to deal with it, I think. Because I've spent enough time on this now, 
and I'm um, feeling pretty good about it. So, it's shredded up like crazy, so we shouldn't have any mishaps. Um, took a lot of time on the staging there, so the staging shouldn't have any mishaps, but you never know. Um, we're taking an awfully long time to load here, but oh, here we go. Getting somewhere. Wait for the physics to load in, see if everything falls apart. Woo. Let's see. Nothing broke. We're just looking a tiny bit wobbly. But uh, hopefully the SAS can help solve that issue and... Yeah. Alright. I did remember to set up an abort sequence and all that good stuff. So, let's see how this goes. I'm going a little bit on the slow side. It's not usually a good sign. But we are going. That's kind of important. So... Yeah, you know, I mean, once you get a few hundred feet up and you haven't blown up, that's usually pretty good. Uh, as long as we did all our staging correctly. I'm a little bit worried about how we're going to do after we lose these boosters. Um, let's not worry about that yet. Let's just be patient. Let's see how do our lights look. Lights look cool. Of course. Oof. We're really, uh working hard here to accelerate. Oh, I'm really hoping that I won't have to send out any kind of refueling mission or anything like that to uh, bring this guy home later, because that's going to be a big pain in the butt. Um, but I'm thinking that given how much weight we have here, it just might be the only way to do things. I don't know. I don't really have a plan like that solidly in my he head right now. We're just going to kind of improvise and hope for the best. So let's see, we're almost ready to drop our boosters. Three, two, one, and drop. Bye bye Okay. Alright, we're not slowing down. We're not really speeding up either, but we're not slowing down, so... That's good. Actually maintaining a pretty constant velocity here, which is a little interesting. We're sending our two best dudes, Bob and Jebediah, out there. Oh, I guess we got... Oh, it was Bill that we lost. Yeah, Bob's still around. He's still alive and kicking. Um, Bill was an unfortunate sacrifice that uh, the Kerbal Gods demanded. Not really. I, I mean, I could have definitely saved him, you know, with... I just tried to do something a little reckless. Um, if you guys saw that episode, we tried to kind of land our whole interstellar stage instead of detaching, so I wouldn't have to go up and get Bill later. Um, but it didn't really... We were, like, so close. I mean, if we had just a tiny bit more fuel, um, it actually probably would have worked out perfectly. Okay, let's see, it looks like we're almost ready to drop our first tanks here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Looks nice. We'll drop these tanks and then we'll start to turn over, because I don't like to turn and drop at the same time. Bad things happen. Okay, almost there. Almost at our second separation. And... Sweet. Ooh, something broke. Collided into, but did not break. Okay, that's always nice. Let's see. Slowly turn away over here. Mm, okay. That's not that slowly. I said slowly. <laughs> I do like this kind of the staging setup. It's sort of a, they might call an onion onion layer surrounding an asparagus stack or something like that maybe. Uh, it seems to work really really well and be pr 
pretty efficient. And I think it makes a kind of has a nice kind of aesthetic to it. Um, it looks kind of like a flower or something like that. I think that's neat. Okay, almost ready for this next separation. Let's see how we're doing on Apo. Okay. And I don't want to miss. Okay, let's go. Alright, that one went better. Let's see. Okay, we're out to 25 now. Let's see, did anything else break? It did collide with, but did not break. So, <laughs> that keeps happening. Which is interesting. I don't feel like that was happening last time. Turning over a little bit more. And just about ready. No break, no break, no break. Okay. Again, it was damaged, but that's fine. We don't care about some stinking damage. And let's separate those. Whoosh. Separatrons work very nicely. Okay, so we hit orbit, orbital speed. And uh, I think it, we're probably safe to turn that guy on. Alright, looks like we made it to orbit in one piece, so the next stage here will be to set up some kind of way to get out the jewel and take it from there. Uh, looks like I have, you know, pretty decent amount of fuel here, pretty decent amount of fuel here. We might be okay, after all. I don't know if we'll have enough to get back, necessarily. It might be kind of tight, we might just have to send out a refueler, but... Um, lots of other things to worry about before we get to that point, so, yeah. Alright, well, in order to do things as efficiently as possible, I'm going to quickly uh, set up the proper uh, phase angle for Joule, which is about 95 degrees, 96 degrees, something like that, so, um, yeah. I mean, you know, you can do it, you can make the adjustment or the encounter maneuver while in orbit around uh, Kerbal, and that would make things, you know, that's the simpler sort of, simpler way to do it, and it's really not a huge loss of efficiency. Um, but I like to do it um, sort of the, um, it's slightly more efficient to set it up this way. I mean, kind of, because the thing is, is it's pretty hard to judge exactly where 96 degrees is going to be. I think if that's 90 right there, so is that like 96? And so that would be like, yeah, I mean, that's probably about right. It's kind of, you know, it's hard to tell. So that's kind of the drawback to doing it this way. Um, but this looks like a pretty good position because it doesn't look like this is the farthest out that Jewel could be right now. Looks more along the closest it could possibly be to the sun, to us, so we'll switch back here. I just switched to one of my flags so I could time accelerate real quick, and uh, we'll switch back to this guy, uh, switch to, and set all this stuff up. Well, that was a first. I managed to, you can't see it now, but I'm, I didn't even, I just threw down the marker, pushed for out, you know, getting out of Kerbin Spear of Influence, and it was like, boom, right on the money. That was just nutty. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of fine adjustment. That was just, I either am really good at eyeballing angles, which, no, I know myself and I'm not, or I was just really, really lucky. Um, that's a ton of Delta V, though, so there might be a more efficient way to do it than that, than what I just did. So we'll have to play around a little bit here and see if we can... Because that seems, like, awfully... Yeah, that's more like it. 
yeah, we were using... I mean, Joule's pretty big, so it sort of makes sense that... Yeah, 1920, even that seems like a lot. So we'll play around a little bit more, but that was just kind of a weird... Yeah, that was kind of nutty. Okay, it looks like I've got a 1 million meter encounter here, which is more than close enough, really. Um, using a lot of fuel, but, you know, who, who knows? I, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and spare you guys the tedium of, you know, what's going to be a extremely long burn. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll make it out to Jewel in one piece. If not, um, we'll at least give you an update when we go to do our inclination change and let you know how it's going. You guys can see that, and keep your fingers crossed for me. So unfortunately, the place where we put our burn marker is a little bit farther down along the horizon than we can really afford to do. If we go down too far this way, we're going to end up in the atmosphere. So, we're going to have to kind of fudge it a little bit here. I don't want to end up uh, bringing my periapsis down too far and getting in trouble that way. So, we'll do the best we can here. Um, without, uh, yeah, see, as you can see, our, we've already, if we keep burning downward this way, we're going to end up with a periapsis that's in the atmosphere, which is no good really can't be having that. Um, so. It seems like we're okay, though. I'm just ready for this next separation. Let's turn on our lights so you guys can see what's going on. And yeah, I, the separatrons work really nicely for this kind of thing because, as you will see here momentarily, it will push those guys away. Whoa! Maybe we need to uh, work on exactly the placement on that, because that was pretty close, but <laughs> they did do it. That's pretty cool. They're flipping around like that. Okay. Well, I'll be back shortly. As you guys can see, we have a 1 million meter periopsis set up around Jewel. Um, when we get closer, the plan is probably actually going to be to aero break around lathe, if I can, rather than uh, jewel directly. Um, I think that's going to make it easier to go out and go to all the places we want to try to go. Um, rather than being in orbit directly around jewel, I feel like that is probably going to make things more difficult. Um, but I'm not really sure. So, yeah. Alright guys, woohoo! We have made it out to the Jewel system in one piece. Um, so that is great news. So I think it's time for us to do the very first round of science. So let's take a crew report. We can transmit that off right away. Let's EVA a little bit and do one of those and get back in. Do we need another one? I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, let's get back in. Oh, no, we can't do two. Okay, that's good to know. We can transmit that off as well. Oh, then let's see what's next. Gravity data. Okay, store that for right now. Pressure we're not going to get. Seismograph we're not going to get. Temperature we can't get either. What else can we do? Okay, so we can do our first goo container uh, for 70. Okay. Let's let's save these guys for right now. Uh, we'll have an opportunity if there's any left over to deal with those guys later. Let's set our target for that and see if we can get an encounter. Ooh. That has potential. Oh, that was good. 
Let's see if we can do it for even less, uh, less thrust. Should be able to simply go that way. Whoa. And down. And that way. And down. Nope. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be happening for me there. Ooh. There's something. Well, there's a Tylo encounter, but I don't think I want to do that at this point. I think I want to make this as simple as possible. Okay. Alright, I have what's set up as, you know, something that resembles a close encounter with lathe, but as you can see, it looks like it says one million, but at the same time, it looks like we're you know, on a collision course as well, so there's a little bit of uncertainty as to what might have in here. Um, but this is the kind of maneuver where the sooner we do it, the better, I believe. So let's do this now. Instead of waiting till we're much closer, it will cost us a lot more money. Or, sorry, not money, really. Uh, but fuel, which, you know, it, someone had to pay for the fuel, I suppose. The Kerbal taxpayer would be very upset if we were wasting fuel. Oh, see, we're already on our way here. Mm, kinda, anyway. Okay, we're going up. That looks good. We need to make sure we're not... not really liking the way this is going, though. Me a little nervous, but we did just do a quick save, so um, something goes horribly, horribly wrong. Um, yeah, I feel like this isn't really working though, so we should stop and reevaluate. Hmm. should just keep going with it. It does look like it's the wrong way, though. Okay. Alright, more evaluation is necessary. Alright, guys, I think I got the maneuver back. The only issue is we're getting awfully close to Jules' atmosphere there. So I have to be pretty careful about how I do this. Um, let's see. Oh, this is going to be a nerve-wracking process, I can tell, already. Oh, I really have to be careful. At least we'll get some near, uh, near jewel science there. Ooh, that was a really close, uh, can we back that up a little bit? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well that's even better. Um, let's see. I'm gonna come down kind of steep like, but I think I can work with that a little bit better. Okay. All right, we're gonna come in close to Jewel here. Do some science. Wait till we hit about our jewel periapsis, and woo! Look at that view. Let's take that in for a second. Got Layla over here. There's a big jewel. So let's do another one of these guys. Oh, we don't get anything else out of that. So all right. So I guess we're not quite ready for any more science yet. Okay, uh, we set it up to be about uh, 28 or so kilometers up, which seems pretty reasonable to me. In a atmosphere of 50,000 meters, that should slow us down sufficiently. I am thinking. Whoa! Not go that fast, please. Okay, 
So let's whoa slowly. Okay, sweet. Let's see where did we end up? Thirty-three. So we can probably go down a little bit more. Now we can do a little bit more science. Let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and risk one of these. Two twenty-five. Baller. Okay. Jebediah, it's your turn to do an EVA, I think. Go ahead. That was excellent. Good job, Jebediah. Transmit that as well, please. Let's see. Where did that first goo go? First one we did was... I don't even know. I can't even find it now. Whoa. There. So we'll do this one next. Okay. 90 science out of that. Let's please turn on the SAS and chill out a little bit. Okay, we can't do that one. This one we could do. We'll transmit that off. Because why not? And then... What other science can be done? Probably, that's probably it. Okay, so... Can't do one of those yet, of course. The next thing to do will be to put, get close and then pull our solar panels in. And, oh, let's uh, quick save. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed on here because I don't. A lot of uncertainty. Okay, let's pull those guys, and these ones I forgot to action group, so you're gonna have to do this. Alrighty, there's uh one of the other guys. Which one is that? Tylo? Ball, bow, whatever. Um, okay, we're all prepped for aero break. Okay, now we are in Atmo. Oh boy! So if we are truly in Atmo, should be able to run some more experiments. Okay, not yet. Let's find our currently in use one. Let's see. Well, in space near, so no, we don't want that. We're waiting to get into the atmosphere. Let's see. No, well, in space near, we're not ready for that yet. And oh, I hope this slows us down enough. I really, really do. Okay, are we in Atmo yet? Can we do this one yet? No. Okay, well. We'll wait on all those then. And hope we're slowed down sufficiently. Um might just wanna burn a little bit just to be on the safe side. Yeah, let's burn a little bit. Let's see what's our current. Yeah, we're already going back up at a very high rate of speed here, so let's make sure that we're stopped. Otherwise we're going to have a rough time of things if we don't stop here. Mm. So 28 wasn't so good. We needed to be lower, I guess. Much lower, it looks like. have to redo this. It looks like I might have to though. Alright, so okay, we were there. Let's find our retrograde ish direction and go let's go down to like twenty two maybe. Mm. 
we reached surface velocity. That's a little bit concerning. Let's see. Hopefully we won't go too low. It's weird. I don't know how we're going to land on this thing. That's a mystery to me. That looks like a good spot there. We're not gonna. I can't worry about that yet, though. Coming around. Let's see. painfully close, but I don't think we're quite low enough. Yeah. Let's burn a little bit here. I think we're I think we're pretty close. No, we're not close enough. We gotta try one more time and go a little bit lower. I'm sorry guys, I gotta, I gotta do this right. Alright, here goes nothing. We're down at 19. Okay, we just barely... We're barely out of the atmosphere here. That was a little bit too low, really. That was kind of scary. I'm burning a little bit up. <sighs> just to make sure that we're gonna be okay here to 70. And unfortunately, we're on a tilt, and really, there's nothing we can do about it. I'm not going to try to fix that. We're just going to have to deal with it. 70, 70. Okay, so that's a two-minute burn in five minutes. <sighs> okay. All right, guys, we're in a semicircular orbit around Lathe here. And I'm going to go ahead and quick save. And uh, I'm going to see if there's any science that we can do here. A little bit. Mm, that's a battery. Can't do that. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's just transmit that off for right now. It's EVA and <clears throat> use 72. And let's transmit that. Um. Where are our already used goos? Let's go ahead and do another one <clears throat> for 90. And we'll quick save again. Now, it's that time. You guys know. It's time to do the thing where we detach, go down to the surface if we can. I'm thinking this area is pretty promising to land on. Should be able to get to that without too, having to burn off too much fuel, and actually, if we really want to do that, we got to do it right now. So let's. Oh, I never like doing this part. I feel like it's the point where I don't know. You guys know what I mean. It's scary.